I'm going to be telling you stories here. Because they said impossible is nothing. I want to take you back memory lane. I did not come here to come and pity you. I came here to sandpaper you. I came here to kill that morbid, mentomic, mundane, moribund, myopic, microscopic mindset. We cannot continue like this. The first story I'll tell you is that in 1991, when I started university in Unicap, I used to go to school from my back. I used to take the bus from here. I lived in Ibesire Koi and come here in the morning, 5.30, take a bus to Unicam, and in the evening, come back to our back. I am not a fresher. I know the way around. No be today. 1997 is a very defining year for me. In 1997, we had the military administrator here called Mr. Captain Joseph Adewusi, those of you that were around. We did not have mobile phone. We did not have internet. We did not have all those. So you that have the mobile phone now, Snapchat, WhatsApp is good, but you can do more with it. In that same 1997, we did not have laptop. We used those kind of big muscular things, CPU, um, <laughs> those big computers to communicate. Now we are using better things. In that same 1997, if I wanted to eat, I would have to leave my friend's house that I was squatting in A-Line. Those of you that know the story know them, know that story. They would go to their mother's house and go and eat. They are still in this town. And if I miss that opportunity, I will not eat dinner. Now, my own eating of food was not breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was zero, zero, one. In that same time, in that 1997, I woke up one day and they said I should leave that house. I had to sleep in an uncompleted building in a wet housing. I was not afraid of anything apart from a snake biting. The only thing I could do extra was to go to church, power chapel, which I was at that time, and join them for night prayers. That night prayers, you pray all the speaking in tongues. By three o'clock, the vigil has ended, so everybody will lie down parallel to the horizontal on the floor. So one night, I heard a song, that song changed everything in my life. And that was, I believe I can fly. The wordings of that song turned everything in my life around since 1997. It says, if I can see it, I can do it. If I just believe it, there is nothing to it. I believe I can fly. I believe I, Ubon King, can touch the sky. I believe that I can do anything that I can do. Anybody that has told you you cannot become successful because you are seated in a back, that person is a liar. I was born in 1972, August 22. I'm the first of nine children. I went to Federal Government College, Janiki Lagos, graduated from University of Calabar. I spent 25 years as a security officer from being a bodyguard upwards. I am an alumnus of the Lagos Business School. I'm even a member of the Government Council. I have done security in the banks. I've done in oil and gas. I've done in telecoms. I've even risen to professional level in security in the region. In the, that is in Nigeria and West Africa. I have risen to that level. But four years ago, I said no. And I stand up because I wanted young people. So I decided to work with the Ni National Association of Nigerian Students. Greatest Bobo. I came here because I needed to identify with you. Because if I don't teach you what I know, then you will have to suffer longer. I have to be able to communicate effectively. And I saw the accolades coming my way, but a lot of people don't know some things. That when I was 13 years old, I lost my father, who died at the age of 39. My father died at the age of 39. I found out that my father had a second wife. My mom had four to five children. My, my stepmom had four children. So we were in a three bedroom flat. And at night, my mother would talk to all the children defend your house. Don't let anybody take this out. So in the night, in my dreams, I'll go to China and go and learn how to fight Kung Fu. Because I want to beat my brother. I did not know that my stepmother was talking to her children that in defend your house. So my brother will go to Russia, go and learn kickboxing. In the morning, it's Battle of Musanga. We must fight in that house. Why? Because our mothers have been talking to us. Be careful what people tell you. Be careful what people tell you. We create enmity because of what we hear. My mom disowned me at the age of 19. 
I had nobody to take care of me. Nobody. I decided that I was not going to be a failure. I went to Lagos. I worked in a fashion house. I slept there on the floor. Three months. On the fourth month, I came back to school. It affected my grades. I came out of Unica with a dead class. Extra year. And NYSC did not post me. How bad can it get? <coughs> I was considered a failure. But one of my friends said something and I love. He said, even if you give up, make sure you are looking up. Because if you can look up, you can get up. Don't let anybody put your face to the ground. I beg you, fight another day. Fight another day. I know that Kobe blew some people with, with some heavy punches, but I'm begging you, please, fight another day. If you are going to fight another day, please raise those hands up. Let me see you. And as your hands have gone up, it will not go down. The strength to keep fighting will come upon you. I have scars on my back. I have bruises. I have pains on my leg. I've lost my voice many times, but I said, no, I will do it one more time. My mentor and uncle, the 14, 11 president of India said, a dream is not what you see when you sleep. A dream is the one that does not allow you sleep. A dream is not what you see when you sleep. A dream is the one that will not allow you sleep. If you are sleeping at night, you don't have a dream. A dream will wake you up by 2 a.m. Your eyes will be clear. A dream is the one that will provoke you. You will not sleep. <laughs> When Uko told me he wanted to do Tinkation, I said, no problem. I knew that sleep was going to leave him, whether he likes it or not. It's a function of time. And he has not slept today. You will just see the result of hard work is more work. So welcome to my level. Welcome to my level. Welcome. If you are still sleeping, then your dream is not big. If your dream, if you are still sleeping, your dream is not big. It's poor people that just sleep. A rich man doesn't sleep. While men were sleeping, transactions were going on. A little sleep, a little slumber, social poverty, poverty attack you. The, the difference between a rich man and a poor man is what they do. The rich do not have 25 hours. The poor do not have 23 hours. They have the same amount of time. It's what you do with your time that matters. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to, you must start thinking like a soldier. A soldier has to attend drills in the morning, attend drills at night. People ask me, Ubon Ki, how do you succeed? What are your habits? I say, me, I study two hours in the morning, two hours at night. I am a voracious reader. If you don't give me information that I don't dissect, I pieces it, I compartmentalize it. You need to get that discipline. It takes 21 days to form a habit. What COVID has done, COVID formed a new habit of laziness. So if you want to succeed, unlearn that poverty and learn success. Every child that is born came with two things. And that is the fear of loud noise and the fear of falling down. If you are poor, you learn to be poor. So if you are going to succeed, you have to unlearn poverty and learn to be rich. God gave us five gifts. Our eyes for sight. Our ears to hear. Our nose to smell. Our mouths to taste and our hands to touch. At a point in my life when I needed to change the way things were, I stopped looking at anything that was negative. Because it affects my thinking. I must always look at things that are beautiful. On your phone there are beautiful things. Not only women, please. Please look at beautiful areas. Find out what is happening in Dubai. Find out what is happening in different countries, in different parts of the world. Please look at those things. Passion is anything you can do when they wake you up. 2 a.m. they can mobilize you. 
2 a.m. you can go anywhere. 2 a.m. You can talk about that industry very well. But that passion, you need to feed it. Bumbo, you feed your passion. Feed it. I will go under the bridge, you know, show you and buy a magazine, 100 naira, and eat that magazine in the morning, eat that magazine in the afternoon, eat that magazine at night. Whatever you eat and you continually eat will eventually eat you up. I ate everything on executive protection. I ate everything on counter-terrorism. I ate things on security that people did not know where I was going to. I started my own company from my bedroom. I didn't need to be in, it, in, in, in London. I started it from my bedroom. In that bedroom, I said security, maritime, and logistics. Nothing starts until you start. When you start, everything starts. I started in my bedroom. I started in my bedroom. You don't need an office to start. You can start anywhere. Start wherever you are. So I started like that. And I knew this was what I was going to do. I wanted this motivation. I wanted to go this far. The worst thing, apart from poverty, is holding small money. Small money is terrible. I changed my target. I went for a target of 100 million. I have never seen 100 million before. I wrote it on a sheet of paper. My mattress was on the floor. That was my wall. My wall, this place too far. My wall was here. So I put it here and I lie down parallel to the other. It is the first picture I see when I wake up, 100 million. The last picture I see. I put it on my ceiling, put it everywhere. This book of the law shall not depart. When there is a will, there's always a will. I looked at it. I put a time, 100 million and one year. 100 million and one year. That was my target. When you put a target on yourself, everything in your system changes. You cannot be bigger than your dream. It's not possible. Increase it. Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, my mentor, says in Africa, when a gazelle wakes up, he has to run faster than the fastest lion, otherwise, it will be eaten for breakfast. He says in that same Africa, when a lion wakes up, it has to run faster than the slowest gazelle, otherwise, it will not eat lunch. The moral of the story is whether you are a gazelle or a lion when you wake up no matter the recession in the forest a lion will never eat grass hey uh, the lion is not the smallest not the biggest animal in the forest the lion is not the strongest animal in the forest the lion is not the fastest animal in the forest the lion is not the wisest animal. So if you ask him in the exam of wisest, did you pass? He'll say, no, I failed. Tallest, I failed. Biggest, I failed. Smartest, I failed. So when he tenders his report card, he failed this one, failed this one, failed this one, failed this one. Your academics is not a guarantee for success. Your first class, get out. Second class, get out. It is your attitude to succeed. Some of us have become lazy in our brains because we have come up with first class. When you finish, drop your certificate and hustle like a dropout. Hustle like a dropout. That does not mean you should, you should, you should not go to school. Learn because that school is important to communicate. You need it as backup. But hustle like a dropout. Hustle like a dropout. A wise man said, I'm not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep, but I'm afraid of a lion, of a pack of sheep led by a lion. If I get you to become a lion, you will win in future.